beaten before they go back with him. Not having spot. Oh. You know how you iron a nice white shirt, white blouse, white skirt, then there's a wrinkle there, kind of stubborn, and you press the steam. Sometime that steam release water, put a rust stain on it. That, 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 that's the box. Yes, that's right. Now you try to get that rust stain out because you want that white or off-white to be perfect, should I say. That's right. Well, the Lord made it plain here in reference to us. That he might present it to himself. He may present it to, us, to himself a glorious treasure. Not having a spot. Uh oh. You know what a spot in your life is? Sin. That's it. That's it. Now, some of us say, well, I don't see nothing wrong with that. That's one of the biggest mistakes that the human family have made. Right. You have to stop looking at things from your view and look at things from what the Lord says. <coughs> because I tell you right now, there's a lot of things that will never be wrong in your eyes. Right. But that don't make it right. What makes a thing wrong is when the Lord look at it and condemns it. Amen. God ain't looking at how much you love it. You take that woman that got that second husband. You think the Lord is looking at how good that man is? God ain't looking at the car he bought you, the bank account, how well he's taking care of you. God is looking at, listen, I said you're bound by the law while you're first one to live. God ain't looking at how good Fred is to you. Fred soon will be dead. God ain't looking at that. Not at all. We would look at it. Yes, the flesh would look at it. Man, Fred is a good man. They don't want to look at it. Pastor Jennings, if this is so wrong, why is he so nice to me? I got things I never had before. Yeah. Yeah. Her voice just gets quivering. She's she crying. I have things I never had before. I, I, I got a car. I got a bank This, 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 this just can't be wrong. Oh. You know why? Because you're looking at it from your perspective. Now, you got to stop looking at it from your perspective. And now, look at what God says. That's right. And this is why so many people are going to be lost. It's because what God said, we find it offensive. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you think God agree with you? No. Nope. But you got to agree with him in order to reign with him. That's right. He's the boss. That's right. mm -hmm. If you want people to come, you may not like their rules. But you ain't got no other job. Oh, and you want to eat. Oh, you may fuss and start and pack your mouth out like a pig. Mm -hmm. The boss said, ain't nobody getting out of here. I know, I know y'all supposed to get off at 5, but we got to overstock. Everybody got to stay at 9 o'clock. And if you don't stay at 5, no more income coming in. No other job. You can pout, fuss, cuss, and yell. You're going to be right there at 9 o'clock. You're going to be right there. You know why? You know you, you got to eat. Hey! You got to eat, I said. So go ahead and take God. Now, that's your natural supervisor. How the way you think God is. Amen. Do you know the Bible says this about God feelings? It says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither is my way, your way. Then he shows us the difference. As heaven is as high as So is my way higher than your way, so is my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So, or the way we think. That's why the preachers, listen, it's easy to tell a false prophet. A false prophet will get up and preach something, and then he'll come back and say, Church, if I hurt any of your feelings, I'm sorry. I apologize. I just got a little excited. That's the devil preacher. Amen. God preacher. He will never, never, ever, ever, never, ever, never apologize for telling you what's right. He gonna tell you what's right if you get mad and stomp out and cuss while you're out. 
He gonna tell you what's right while you're driving down the road, cussing, smoking, and drinking, telling your second wife, I don't care what that story so sir. I ain't never giving you up. I go to hell before I give you up. That'll be arranged. <laughs> Sometimes when you're ironing, that iron's not kicking out enough heat to get rid of that ring. So you gotta turn up the heat and kick out more steam. See, the false churches you go to, they're smooth. That's why your life is so messed up. Preachers ain't got what it takes to press that ring out your life. That's why your heart never get convicted. You don't feel no remorse.